Good evening, friends. Uh, I'm Atikul Rahman, and I am a certified robotics engineer. Today, I'm going to discuss with you about how to run uh, or create an Angular application and deploy it to your So, let's get started. Uh, I'm in my uh, local machine. I'm using Windows. So, if you're using Mac or Linux, then the command is not different. So, I'm going to open PowerShell and I'm going to create a new Angular project. So uh, to create an Angular project, I think what you have to do is install the uh, Angular CLI as a global. So install minus C and Angular CLI. I already installed it. So previously, so it didn't take me that much time. But if you haven't installed it previously, it will install the Angular CLI on your local machine as a global so that you can run the uh ng command from the terminal so um uh, let's wait for that i think remember I installed previously but some of the checks the versions of those things so it is moving faster okay after we have installed it i'm going to create a new project angular and then i'm going to create a new component over here so we have a global component then I'm going to add some uh, uh, modification HTML, uh, modification files, JavaScript files, and then build the project deployed with this. So, okay, uh, let's see. Yes, remember it's installed, but uh, I'm not sure if it's good. I installed previously, but um, we are just Okay. okay, yeah. So, um, if you have installed Angular CLI, you should be able to use the ng command, ng uh, attic uh, then um, command. Oh, sorry, ng uh, uh, okay. I'm not uh, quite used with Angular, so yeah, so I'm just going to open that. That is okay because now we have chat GPT, so we can just get all the instructions from there. So, my point is. Um, I'm going to show you the process, but using chat GPT, you don't have to memorize anything at this moment. So we have to go chat GPT and just go to the next. The most important thing is now is uh, what can be done or what's possible done. If you know that, you can use chat GPT to like uh, generate the boilerplate code for you. So you need to know the full architecture and then Think of ChatGPT kind of like your uh, uh, robot or machine who's building blocks for you. So you are an architect who's going to design this massive design building, and ChatGPT will help you to build up these small blocks, little blocks that can help you to build this massive project faster. Basically, what you have to do then. You have to design and you also have to uh, build all those small blocks. But now, with the help of ChatGPT, you don't have to do uh, the dirty works. You will just design what uh, the fiction will be. And then the small parts ChatGPT can generate for you, the boilerplate groups. Then you can join those things together and make a big thing. So, in short, uh, it is creating a new project. Uh, yeah. I don't know why it's taking that much of time. But just have the patience and uh, grab a cup of coffee. Maybe I can pause it a little more. So we have created the project. It went well. Go to that folder. Open my PS code. So, uh, one more thing, uh, I need to create a component, which is ng generate. Okay. 
So it will generate a component for me and I will use that component to make a hello world. Meanwhile, it's generating the component. Uh, I go to my AWS account and uh, create a bucket. Uh -huh. going to make it public because it is a public HTTP website. So, uh, it has been created. Let's go here. And then go to the properties. I'm just going to make it public. And I'm going to set static. Enable index.html. The permissions I'm going to make the document as public because it's public facing website, so that's no big issue. But if it's not going to be a public website, don't make it public. So, uh, state and principle. Yeah, so it sounds good. Let's try to save it. No, the market is public now. That's good. Okay, let's go back to our uh, screen where we should be able to see whether it has been generated. The component, the oh, screen is in. Okay, uh, the component has been generated. Let's go to VS Code. And here we see SRC app. Hello. And then we have hello. So let's make some changes. That's it. So uh, this is the one, and then I'm going to go to a component of HTML. And let's uh, hello. This is the guy. Format, but let's see. Now, if I to run in G serve. NG service actually serve kind of a like for the React in BIM start or ER start or a Angular is NG serve. Okay. Meanwhile, um, our bucket has been created. We need to create a clock from because we are going to. Link this bucket with cloud front and set up an SSL certificate. Link it over here. So uh, in the cloud front, we are going to create a new distribution. So I'm going to choose the bucket and go back. And then I still do this previous. Okay, all other books. Okay. I'm going to add the domain name a bit later because we need to have the SSL certificate created first. So we need to create the SSL certificate. After that, I'm going to add the alternate domain. And default root object, try to put it in index 
dot html otherwise this will not work or you have to manually type your domain then index to html to open up the site if you don't put the default one just to remember so this is it right okay so now let's see what is happening here oh. Our self command is successfully done, so we can now browse the site with localhost port to successfully. Localhost. Good. And that's it. So it's not fancy because this is just a single thing. So we can add more things, but um, at this moment, for this example, I'm just going to show this hello world. <clears throat> now, uh, what we have to do is um, it's going to cancel this and run an ng build. This will create a HTML version. So it's a compiled HTML version which we can upload it to S3. We cannot upload all those things because this is uh, not good. So we need to uh, create a HTML compatible version, upload to S3, and then we can see. So our S3 bucket is creation done. We need to, we have created a drop front. We need to create a certificate manager now. This is a certificate using certificate manager. So if we come to the certificate manager, one thing remember that uh, the certificates <coughs> you need to do is on a different region. So you need to do on a Northern Virginia. If you wanted to link your SSL certificate with CloudFront, you need to do it not in Virginia. I guess the CloudFront is by default staying in Northern Virginia. That's the Okay, so now let's make a request here. Thank you. Uh, for XYZ. New certificate. Press the page. Copy the CNAME and then add the CNAME here. The value. Turn off proxy. Save it. And I'm going to uh, link this domain with this CloudFront. So just copy the distribution domain name for the CloudFront and it will over here. This is also CNAME. And I'm going to use Angular. Dot, I think it's XYZ. And then target with the CloudFront without HTTPS part. And that's it. Save it. Okay, uh, let's try to see if our certificate is issued now. It is Angular Docs. So uh, now we are going to refresh this cloud front and we are going to update it. And we are going to link the SSL certificate with cloud front. So uh, edit. Here I'm going to add the alternative domain name and I'm going to use here it is Angular. Okay. okay. Now um, if I'm going to browse a new tab angular. I should not see anything because there's nothing has been created. I have to upload my projects into this bucket. So let's see if our build project is done. Yeah, our build is finished. What we have to do is we go to the file explorer. And we will do file explorer. Just here and just upload things. You can upload. Mm -hmm. 
So I've uploaded all the files. Close it. Let's see if it is fine. Okay, this is running fine using the S3 URL. Now I'm going to check if it's running fine in two from our using our domain name. And here it is. It is also working fine. So what we have done, we created an Angular application. We have created a dummy Hello World component. We have built it, uploaded it to S3, linked to CloudFront, added an SSL certificate, linked our domain with CloudFront, and that's it. So this is the manual process of uh, link or uploading your Angular application to AWS. There are some other alternatives as well, like uh, it says AWS Amplify which is kind of a uh, automated process linking with your Git GitHub repository so that um, we make some push commits, it will auto trigger your deployment. That being said, uh, that's it for today. I hope you like the video. If you like, please uh, subscribe to my channel and I will get more videos like this. Thank you, have a nice day, bye-bye.